Well, welcome everybody to our Real Bird Hands-On Workshop. We're glad to have you there here this fine Friday morning, wherever you, uh, wherever you are in this uh, across the fruited plain. Uh, we get together a couple times a month uh, to help you as a Real Bird uh, member to take full advantage of uh, of, our, of the Real Bird system. We call it putting the bird to work. <laughs> And uh, we realize uh, that the real bird is a tool with a lot of depth to it. It's a it's a whole system, and it, it takes so it takes a while to appreciate everything it does and everything it can do for you and your listing and for generating leads. Uh, my name is Eric Zebarth. I'm a guest host here, trainer here today on this webinar. Um, I'm with a company called Agent Web Coach, and I help agents put their marketing pieces together, their branding, and and help them. Uh, be their best they can be uh, using all the best tools out there. And of course, real bird, I think is my hands down the best tool I've seen been doing this a long time. Um, I'm not alone this morning. I have Gabe gross, one of the owners and developers of real bird here with us today, um, monitoring um, our webinar and our training and the chat and here to answer any questions that I get stuck on, which I'm always learning more about, about real bird. Good morning, Gabe. Good morning, everybody from a cloudy redwood city. Oh, good. Hopefully it's rain on your way in Northern California. You probably need it. I'm broadcasting from uh, northern Utah today where we've had some terrible uh, fires, but uh, we've had the the jumbo jets come by and drop all the retardant across our beautiful Rocky Mountains and in the background here uh, in what we call the Wasatch Front. And, uh, well, you know, uh, Gabe and I have been doing these uh, sessions for, for a few years. Um, and you might think, well, it, you know, Rupert's been around for, gosh, what, 14, 15 years now. And um, but it's uh, the, the what's different about Real Bird is it is a tool that is continually a uh, toolbox. Actually, it's continually being added to more tools. You know, um, things have changed. You, you don't just put your you know, you don't put your listing in the MLS and and um, wait for things to happen. No, that's if you're a Real Birder. Um, you have a lot more options than that. We're going to talk about that today, how to integrate um, your listings. Um, so it, basically in all areas of people's lives, so they run into it, but branded by you. And we're going to talk a little bit about that, about you know what it means to take control of your listing. So uh, without further ado, by the way, um, we have our chat box going, so you can uh, look to the right there and you can uh, ask questions or make comments. And Gabe's going to help me while I'm sharing in training. Um, uh, to ask ask questions, ask those questions that we can introduce to the to the audience and uh, get those questions answered. Uh, this session is being recorded, and if you're joining us, that means you've already registered to join us. Not only join us today, but you will receive a link to uh, the recorded version of this session once we're done. Uh, we're going to cover. I'm going to cover a lot of area, and we have about 45 minutes uh, together this morning. And I want to make sure that. Uh, Number one, I don't want to overwhelm you. Um, I think in working with a lot of real estate agents the last few years, um, they get a tool that uh, uh, they purchase for real estate, for marketing themselves or listing. And a lot of times you get overwhelmed. It's like, I know I need it. They put down the credit card, and they but they don't use it. And it sits there because it's so overwhelming. It's like, I know if I spent the time to use it, um, I would probably get some great results out of it. So my intention is not to overwhelm you today. But rather to excite you, get you, elevate your, uh, a, you know, attention, your interest to, because what it really means today, gosh, someone told me, I saw someone, they were marking themselves and they said, oh, I live in this island that I think it was like five square miles or something like that. And there was like something over 500 real estate agents just in that area. And gosh, as a real estate agent, it's harder and harder to, to stick out, you know, till some of these people leave the industry and leave more business for you. You know, uh, you, you got to stick out. And and the cool thing about these tools is they can help you stick out. They can help you, you know, you stick out, your 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 listings to stick out and be seen by more people and interacted with. That's that's what it, really what it's all about. All about. And Real Bird's always had a, what I, my own experience. Um, like I say, I'm a guest trainer on, this, on Real Bird. I don't work for Real Bird. I do these trainings because um, I have a lot of real estate marketing clients that uh, that use it. And so that's why I'm invited here to share with you, you know, how it works. And because these are the tools I use and I try to, with my clients, I implement every single one of these problem programs that we can, but that takes time. You don't do everything all at once. 
you know. Um, but you have to prioritize. And it, this should excite you about what the things you can do. Real birds never sat back on, a, on their haunches. You know, I've worked with many other marketing, real estate marketing companies and many that aren't even here anymore. And the I think the the thing that keeps Real Bird going and relevant is they're constantly adding tools that will help you get seen, get sold. You know, that's that's what it's that's what it's really about. Uh, if you ask me about the Real Bird toolbox, I'd say it's divided in kind of two halves. Although there may be two thirds and one third, because one part we definitely use uh, more than the other, uh, and that's the listing publisher. And but there's also the property search uh, module as well that can be used. Um, I would say kind of this is where it all this is where the fun happens, and that's the you the, the real bird gives you the ability to with this listing publisher to create a single property website. You say, why do I need a single property website? I have my own website and it has all my good stuff on it. Well, not everybody knows who you are, and um, and yes, we want to get them to your website and have them log in to save a search and see what your what you have for sale. And we can and real bird helps with that, by the way. But uh, the idea that, that you can, in this listing publisher, and I'm going to dive into uh, one of um, a re real, real bird member. Her name is Susan Rupert. She's in State College, PA. Um, I'm actually logged into her real bird account. Once I'm logged in, I'm clicking on, we have the dashboard, which is a great place to start. Kind of so you have your links real quick to go to. But uh, I'm going to go right to listing marketing. And that's where you're going to see you have the ability to be able to create these single property websites. So you just click add for sale or if you have a rental listing. And so that, that's kind of where you start. So the idea is, is that you create a single property website. In fact, I'm going to pull up one that I've already done here. This is one I've done. Well, that's the virtual tour. Okay. Okay. Gosh. Okay. So I'm going to pull that up. So here's a listing I just literally created 926. It was just yesterday. And this cool little cabin just outside State College, you know, literally 18 minutes from State College. You wouldn't believe it. Of course, Pennsylvania is beautiful. They have a lot of beautiful things to see. But so what you're able to do is create these single property websites that have a life all their own. Think of like uh, they're self-sustaining, so to speak. Uh, I don't know. Think of like a satellite, you know, that it can – you know, monitor itself and has energy and and send pictures back to, you know, to Houston. And and the, the idea is to create a single property website that will put you uh, in the driver's seat, in control of that listing. Now, um, you might broker load your listings. Most agents do. Um, when you load your listing or have a, your um, brokers load your listing in MLS, uh, a lot of things happen. Uh, one of the First things that happens is all your contact information gets scraped off that listing so that it's ready for, you know, kind of unbranded basically so that a, a broker or agent can slap their brand on it and bring a buyer to you. Anything wrong with that? No, absolutely not. Bring all the buyers we want. We'd love to get this home sold tomorrow. This weekend would be even better. But but the idea is that by, t by just relying on that listing, um, going into the MLS, having them scrape your brand off and have it be branded by other agents or brokers or, or you know, across the country or whatever, is that we miss an opportunity to brand who you are and what you do. To me, my opinion is every listing you take and market says something about you. Um, this says about uh, Susan that she's in the State College area. Um, gosh, let me show you here. She has a place on uh, Real Bird lets her um, create single property websites for all her listings and even the, even her solds. These are actually all her solds. So she's been using Real Bird for, gosh, probably about six years. And if you were thinking about selling a home uh, in the state college area, here I'll zoom out this interactive map a little more so you can see kind of like where her service area is. You know, there, there we go. We all the way to Huntington. All the way to, this, these are all successful closes that she's had, and they're documentable. I mean, in other words, um, these are single property websites she created when they were active or when they were new, just listed, and then followed them through as they were sold. But they're still alive and living um, on the internet. 
If I click more info here, it's going to pull up that single property listing. Yes, it's sold. Um, she's already sold it. No need to sell it again. But but the idea is every I call these like like push pins on a map. This is communicating to you know the people that want to that want to do business with her. And by the way, this is part of what she uses in her listing presentation. Um, is hey, uh, I've had a lot of successful sales um, in the state college area. I get it done. I'm your gal. And this, by the way, this down here is the map interactive map. And this is another uh, kind of a different representation of those solds. It's because some people are not going to want to click in a map, you know. So I show it two different ways. This is all Realbird. This is Realbird allowed her to create a single property website for every single one of her listings. And then you have the ability to be able to market that listing at every single position, every single stage. Uh, there's something to brag about. So let me go to click on this, uh, this newest listing we have here. And I've already um, implemented a lot of these tools already. I'm going to share some of those uh, with you today. Actually, remember I told you that Realbird is always growing and, and um, is always adding new items. Uh, this is a new feature that's just been, uh, that's just been added um, in the last few weeks um, for a low fee, uh, small fee, you can actually feature your listing within the real bird network, which is huge. Uh, you you want to say something about that, Gabe? He's got to turn on his microphone. He's probably muted himself there. I'm sorry. What 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 okay. did you ask? So so the, one of the we're talking about real bird always adding new features um, to uh, what is available in the real bird toolbox. And uh, this new feature that, that they can actually feature their listing on the real bird blog. Well, yeah, oh yeah, so we started this um, articles.realbird.com. Mm -hmm. You can go there, articles.realbird.com, and uh, you can upgrade the listing. It's only, at this point, it's only $15 one time, and we feature it there. And um, you know it's not a Zillow in terms of uh, in terms of how many people come there, but it's good for your SEO because Google watches it, and uh, each listing, of course, if it gets indexed over 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 time, as you publish more and more listings, you want them to rank higher, and so there's two things to do for that. One is to add original and relevant content like neighborhood information and about you and about the house and things like that. That is unique, right? That's not on the MLS or different from the MLS because Google is going to disregard it if it's duplicate. And uh, also then link it to these sites that are real estate relevant and hopefully local relevant. So um, that's how SEO happens today is uh, by content and links. So this articles.realbird.com is a chance for you for practically, you know, very little money to get a little bit more SEO. Yeah, so $15 to, to, to basically feature your listing on a place uh, that is uh, friendly with Google and that it, it, it's another avenue, you know, uh, for people, for leads to come to you. Now, this is a, what we call add-on. It's not part of the, you know, your, your base annual uh, Realbird membership. But uh, to be able to promote a listing for fifteen dollars, you know that, that's re very reasonable. And uh, so, so uh, even though it's an add-on, these are some of some of the new tools that uh, that Robert is constantly creating to help you get your listing out there. Now, I when I work with my clients, um, a part of what I do is helping them in their marketing is is really to create a like a protocol that they follow every time. Um, you know. Systems work, and, and there's a reason that I can, you know, ha not that I want one, but I go down to McDonald's and get a hamburger, um, and it's going to taste exactly like the hamburger down the street where Gabe lives in South, you know, South San Francisco. Um, why does it taste the same? It's McDonald's. Why? Because they have a plan and they have a recipe and they follow it. Good or bad, they do that. But you need to have recipes in your business. You should in your real estate practice. Uh, number one, so that you're not always the one doing them, that you can have someone else do them, like I do them for my clients. Um, <clears throat> and you should be out working, negotiating contracts, showing homes, you know, to, uh, doing seller presentations, um, you know, working on behalf of your clients. You shouldn't be the one. I don't, I got to be careful saying should, because that's kind of like a bad word. But if you're doing it now, that's fine. 
but you should get to the point where somebody else are doing are doing these tasks for you and they need a recipe to follow so that they have the same consistency, the same excellence that you have if you were doing it. And RealBird uh, can do that. And RealBird can give that protocol. And of course, you can, of course, you can send your assistants or uh, agents that are working with you. They're doing this for you. Um, you can send them to our training and they can learn um, these webinars. We happen, like they said, we happen, uh, you know, twice a month because we want you using these tools. RealBird wants you working hard like the RealBird's working. So uh, mainly the listening publishers, what we're going to talk about today, uh, The pro we can talk a little bit about this at, uh, towards the end, but uh, this is kind of where the fun happens is, is putting this uh, listing together, this protocol together so that you are, um, so that you're consistent. And also it builds a confidence in you as a real estate agent, as a marketing sales agent, you know, um, so that you can step in, you know, you go to battle for a listing. You want to get that listing. Maybe it's a $700,000 listing in the neighborhood where, um, you, you know, you want to break into. Uh, you want to have confidence. You can come in there and say, hey, you know what? We're going to get your home. We're going to get your home sold, seen, and the least amount of trouble to you and your family. Uh, highest, we're going to get the highest price the market will bear, and you know, that we can get for, for your home. Um uh, in the quickest amount of time. Well, that's what those are. Those are the promises people want to hear. But how do you get that done? Well, I I surmise or I state that I think that using the best of what Realbird has to offer, I think really makes a difference. Um, I kind of already talked about this already. There's the there's the graphic for that. Uh, you're understand the MLS doesn't put you first. Okay. But by creating a single property website, by sharing that listing everywhere, branding it and, and taking the leverage, literally, literally leverage in every stage to, to put the word out about that home, um, it really puts you in the driver's seat. Um, take, it's have you take control. Uh, Katarina Gassett said that. That's a phrase she uses all the time is use real estate agent. You need to take control of your listings. And you need to have that confidence going into a seller's uh, a presentation that that you that you can do that that you can make those things happen for you know keep those promises for that for that seller confidence is huge um the the, the more successful agents i see are the ones that um know their tools use them and they leverage that confidence to go out and expand their market you know break into more neighborhoods you know uh, i know a lot of agents are focused on you know, being like the no local neighborhood expert and when it comes to real estate. And, and definitely real estate is more local, local, local than it's ever been. I've heard so many agents say, oh, gosh, I'm so frustrated with Zillow, and they just want me to pay $500 a month for leads that are crap. Gosh, I've heard that so many times, I can't tell you. And 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 I, and I tell them, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. You, you can, uh, you know, dominate and generate leads without having to pay the Zillow monster, so to speak. Uh, does Zillow offer you tools that can help you, you know, display your five-star reviews and and uh, put your sold listings in front of people? Um, and yes, even without even without uh, paying um, a premier agent fee, there's still a lot of tools that can help let the world know about you and your real estate services. Um, but you got to leverage it and you got to look at it. Hey, what can I get out of Zillow for me? Okay. Um, and if you look, go into it with that uh, mindset, you, you'll you'll be okay. Believe me, that's how Zillow looks at you. How can they integrate with you and have a benefit for them? So exploit them back. That's I don't know what else to say that yet. Exploit them back. So I just want to share a little bit of just a few examples. You know, like I said, Robert's always growing, adding new tools. And like I said, don't be overwhelmed. You don't have to do everything. Um, you, but but there's a few things that I feel that you really need to do uh, to, to really leverage these. And I'm going to dive in there right now and show you a little bit of my protocol. Um, I can't tell you how many agents I work with and they, you know, launch their listings and, and sometimes even help them write copy because I try to be descriptive and creative. And, and, and it's like, yeah, like Steve, I think Steve Adams from AustinHomesToday.com in, in Austin, Texas. And he says, yeah, Eric, we got 510 characters, no, 509 characters that we can describe this listing. Help me out with this description. I, I, I want to, you know, 
have your input. And I and I dive in there and say, Hi, this is an awesome home. You know, Steve, how do you get it done in 509 characters or less? And he says, yeah, a lot of this, a lot of W forward slashes and run together sentences and no spaces and no com not complete sentences. Okay, so I realize that restriction. It's real. And you guys probably all laugh and say, yeah, yeah, I got that too. Guess what? With Real Bird, you have a way to promote your listing and literally describe that listing with the detail with your perspective of that property. And here's the cool thing. Um, the, the search engines read that listing. So let me go ahead and I'm going to write over here. We've got so many windows open here today. Okay, we go to this one. So the idea is you have an incredible opportunity to describe that home. Um, I feel that I, I feel that here. Here they go. I'm clicking all over the place here. I'm just not like okay. So the idea is you have you have room to describe that listing. There's actually this is the overview. This is the description, which is a little more complete. By the way, just a tip here. When you're in real bird, I'm going to go on the listing here because I think it's important. I see a lot of people missing this. Edit listing details. <clears throat> okay. When you come down here, you have you have uh, so many descriptions here. Here it's cut off at about 600 characters. But on the description page, you need to put more information. Put more information than you see that I've done that. Here we shut off at getaways, and, and we there's a lot more room to provide about that listing all the way down here. So there's two boxes. So don't come in here and load your listing and just use the top box. This is what shows up in the flyer because you have a customized flyer that you can use. Um, uh, and it's, it has limited amount of description. But definitely put the full description in here. And if possible, um, you can add links in there as well. Here. I, in fact, I noticed I didn't do that actually. Um, I can add links in here that'll be that'll be clickable within the single property website, so you can make them. So, you know, I, I copy this link here and I click the link here, and I can find a link uh, that maybe has a website for Whipple Dam State Park. I can add that in there. Greenwood Furnace State Park, Stone Valley. Um, so you have the ability to do that. Describe it. Do not do use complete sentences. No W forward slash, you know, uh, take advantage of that. And here's the cool thing. The search engines here, and I submitted, uh, let me say those changes. I mean, the search engines read this. They, they guess what? The search engines know where Whipple Dam State Park is. They know where those other links that you might add. So take advantage of that and, um, and have those links mean something. So that's a description. You know, click description here. There we go. So this is all description, and I'll, I'll add these links a little bit later, and, then, and these will all be interactive. Um, by the way, every single property website you do for your listings, and by the way, I don't care if you're new to Real, real Bird. You might be new to Real Bird, but you're not new to real estate. Go back and create single property websites with a descript, short description. Don't have to show a price. You have to have an address, at least one image. And, and then create those single property websites and save them, but save them as sold. So you have the opportunity to save them as sold. So, so what you do here, I'm jumping back at that so you can see that. So back at the list here, we're listing marketing. I know it says add for sale listing, and hey, it's already sold, but I want to document that past success. Just make sure that when you save it and add, you know, like I said, brief description in both places. Don't You don't need an MLS number. You don't need a price. Um, uh, but do market sold right there. You know, put the address in there. And what that does is that creates that uh, dynamic presentation of your past success. And this is what it, it this is what it, this is how you show people, hey, you know, we'll get the job done. So it's okay if you're new to Real Bird, not a problem. You can come in there and create a sold and save it as sold. So you also have the ability to, uh, you have three uh, items on each navigation for each single property website. We can tell a little bit about yourself, like um, how I've used them for Susan is, you know, I've got some testimonials of hers right here. And reviews are huge. People people want to see that you you have already had success with others. So I have her testimonials in there. I have a, an About Susan tab so that you can learn more about who she is and her recommendations. 
Um, because people want to know, believe it or not. They don't want to just look for houses. They want, they're looking for a professional too. And uh, by the way, this nearby homes is turned on. That's that property search I was telling you about. So for example, this is a listing that's um, uh, in outside state college area. Um, I've turned this on so that it shows the nearby homes. So it'll show other homes for sale in the area. Not a lot. This, it's kind of, it, it, it's a, it's a bit bare and this is a, this is out in the boonies. So not too far from state college though. So here's the other, um, by the way, if if you guys want to replace that with your own IDX, mm -hmm. and if your own IDX can uh, create a permalink for a particular search, then you can easily mm -hmm. do that by just creating a link with that and then re uh, eliminating uh, the real bird property search and adding your own IDX as an iframe. And that's a simple, simple HTML command, and you can then just uh, uh, replace it that way. That is awesome. I'm always learning things, and I'm... I feel I know Robert the best, even though I'm not an owner developer, but, but I use this with all my clients across the fruited plain. And uh, I tell you, I'm learning things all the time that we can do. Okay. So this is the other, this is a third tab um, I use for, for Susan, but because what it does is uh, I have a Facebook business page for, her, and I brought that business page into uh, her single property website. And in fact, about an hour ago, I posted this listing. You'll see that this is actually shows what shows up on her Facebook page. We'll show that in a second. But I was able to quickly create uh, this post about an hour ago um, and share that listing. How cool is that? I actually shared it in a different way yesterday. So she's got two times happening there in her timeline. But you can customize these three tabs and bring them into your area. Let me show you where that is. A lot of folks say, hey, how do we do that? I want to do that. Okay, so um, I'm under I'm inside Realbird under listing marketing, and it's right here called Global Settings. And um, so that's where I have the branded, you know, so each listing is branded with her broker's name, which which she has to do. You know, she's not a broker; she's a underneath the auspices of her uh, Kissing, Kissinger, Bigatel, and Brower. Uh, but we, by saving those changes, um, so here's the extra page one, extra page two testimonials. Do you know, could, is that something you could show me real quick where to make that change? I won't make the change on hers, but uh, where to reset that property nearby homes? Um, the, um, well, so the configure tab of a listing, right? Okay. That's where you oh, eliminate. On the individual listing, right. So it can be customized right. for each listing. Okay. So let me go into, um, let me go into edit listing. Right. Details. Okay. Look, I'm learning a lot along with you guys. This is awesome. Okay, configure. There we go. Yeah, and then you go to configure. And okay, just and there. Yeah, that first one, embed. Uh, so yeah, I just turn it that. off? Yeah, uh, yeah, it. turn it off. Yeah, okay. If you turn and then save, and then and then uh, that's going to disappear. Okay. And then you add this extra page. So would I add it as one of the three specifically to that list? Yeah, one of the three, or you can you can mm -hmm. do it in the global settings, or you can do okay. it individually for each listing. And probably okay. this is individually for, well, it depends. Mm -hmm. If you have a, let's say you have a map-based search of your IDX, mm -hmm. and you okay. um, and you make a very zoomed out, and, and all your other listings are in that area, then you can just do mm -hmm. it in the global settings, because it's, it's going to show lots of, lots of listings. But if you want to do it individually and also change the price. And for example, let's say this listing has a price of, I don't know, $500,000. You don't want to show $100,000 listings. No. You want to show maybe starting with 250. And so then you have to do it individually for the listing. Got it. Each listing has a different price. So that's nice. So you're going to go, go in there and just configure that in that listing. OK, awesome. So I turned off that, so we can basically I can, we can add a link back in there. That's great. Okay. So so thanks for thanks for sharing that. So that's that's uh, that's great. All right. So um, let me back it back at my notes here. Um, I I'm going to tell you that you have the opportunity to put awesome size photos in your listing. I've seen so many MLSs across the country, uh, like where I am in Salt Lake, the listings that they show uh, for your listing, if you're, you know, an agent in the Salt Lake area, um, the pictures are like ridiculously small, and it's like, gosh, um, I, 
that's not fair. You know, I have a beautiful listing. I want to show it in big, beautiful, you know, technicolor. Um, well, you can do that. You have the opportunity to be able to, to be able to do that, to be able to show your listings in that way. Um, you know, I'll show you how pitiful it is. And I've seen this, a lot of the MLSs across the country, they, you might upload a large image, but by the time people see on the other end, um, they're very small. And, uh, and so you have the opportunity to be able to put, you know, wide images. I always try to say at least 1500 pixels wide so that you can shoot, you know, the, the idea of, of, of nowadays is with the technology we, we have available to you as an agent, listing agent, is, is, to, is to show as much of that home as possible to get people to say, gosh, I love it. I'll fall in love with it. I'm going to share it everywhere. I want to say, hey, what do you think about this home? I'm thinking about this home. You know, the people share their listings now. They're looking at home, new homes, and they find a listing, and they share. It's just what they do. They share in the, within their network. And, and so that people can see it. Hey, what do you think about it? You think this would be a great place to have a barbecue with our, you know, brothers and sisters and family, whatever. So, so the idea is you have opportunity with Wilbur to be able to show and leverage those listings. Um, I'll pull this listing up here. So it, this is the, obviously the single property website. And this is the, the gallery here that, that gives people the, uh, the, the opportunity to be able to click on and see whatever image they want. Um, but it's not, it's not just that, um, let me click up virtual Robert can create a virtual tour of your listing. I've got it here somewhere. I know I've got it here somewhere. Oh, okay. Let's get an example. Um, this is Robert. When you create a listing, you have an opportunity to create a post and you have a post show up in your website. And, it, and, of course, when I set up a website with a post, I make it so that that post can be seen everywhere. It can be sent and shared with every, anyone. But look at these pictures. They fill the screen. That's what you want. And that's just one of the ways that Rilbert can share with you. Let me pull up that. Okay, these are the landing pages. So every, we talked about every stage of the listing that it's live, you know, coming soon, just listed, you know, active home or hot property, open house. These landing pages can be created for each stage of the of your listing, so that more and more people can see it. Let me pull up the real the the virtual tour. I want to show that to you. Uh, so you have the opportunity when you load your listing, if you choose to do so. Sorry about that. Talking a lot, dry mouth. Okay. So um, we have these landing pages here that you that you can use, but there's a virtual tour that you can create both unbranded and branded. So when you're when you're loading a listing in the MLS, they ask for a link. And they usually call it like a virtual tour link or media link. Different MLS is called different things. But you, and every, every MLS I've encountered, remember, we, they want the scraped off version of your listing so they can market it and share it with other brokers and agents so they can slap their brand, their, their label on the, the can of peas, the corn slice, so to speak. So um, the, here's the unbranded virtual tour version. So I click on that. This would be the link that you would go inside. Uh, the MLS or media link or virtual tour link ad. So you don't necessarily need virtual tour companies. If you have great quality photos, a uh, real gives you that tool. Now this is unbranded means you're not going to see Susan's information. You're going to see an overview. You're going to close on that. You're going to see, uh, you know, loca location on a map. There we go. This is kind of, in the middle of nowhere, but not far from town. Um, so that's the unbranded one. Let's click the branded one so you can see that. This is the branded one. Obviously, this is going to be branded with her with her contact information. Um, but it's really you can see the focus on this is really you know the the pictures, and it, that's why that's one of the benefits of Realbird is you really get a beautiful way to display display your listing and not just relying on you know if you're MLS you know, shows your listing with small pictures, you know, that you don't have to be stuck with that. And there's more details. And of course, it's all going to be, it's all going to be so that you can connect to Susan. You have her contact information there. You can share it and you contact her directly. So the form goes right to her. Okay. So let me back up here. So like I said, you, you don't need to be overwhelmed. You don't need to do everything. I call this the coat rack closet. Wardrobe, that's better. Yeah. This is like the wardrobe for your listing. And and that's what Robert really does. It gives you it gives you it gives your listing the ability to be able to dress it 
for you know for the right audience for the right uh, connections that are generating leads let me jump back in here so take awesome photos video if you can please um, I have a YouTube video of this listing I can grab it and post it in the listing so that people can watch it by video by the way you should all be doing videos for your listings and it's not hard to do uh, videos um, I've shared um, on these training before how you can do it if you have a Mac computer um, if you have a, a, a Windows computer you can use the the movie maker um, I use them um, I have a Mac computer so I can create uh, pretty cool uh, videos that look really look really good using a Mac just using the what's called the photo um, option and creating a slideshow and I can put text over images and take images and create kind of a what they call you actually select a thing called Ken Burns effect so let me see if I can pull it up and show you an example so yeah I think video more people would rather watch a video than read text that oh okay maybe I'm speaking my 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 baby boomer generation you know we're raised on television but um but that more people consume video video like in enormous amounts so um you have the ability here showing this video where's my video i just had it here i need to reset yeah there we go so i created this video in about five minutes and it wasn't hard and it looks professional there I can go even go widescreen I think I'll go big screen yeah oh you know what I want HD Facebook by feed default doesn't do that so so I can create video and upload it to YouTube very quickly and uh, this is the tool this is the Mac if you need help knowing um, I'm happy to you know I'll give you my email at the end and, uh, and contact information I'll be happy to you know give you some specifics on how to do that um, but I think every, I think every uh, listing should have a video done, and then you can upload that that video to your YouTube channel. And I hope you have a YouTube channel. That's a costly thing to create one, and uh, you definitely want to be putting your content into the Google Library, which is YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google. Don't don't pass up an opportunity to be able to do that. So definitely, let me go back to my protocol here. Okay, set up open house. Um, Open house notification. So all your listening, what your listings are live in real bird, you have the opportunity to come in here and say, for example, uh, it, it Susan wants to do an open house, and I'm not sure she's going to do an open house on this one. By the way, you can create, there's a couple of open house tools. Uh, you can create a version of this listing, an open house landing page, where you can then promote it uh, uh, within social media or share it. She happens to use an add-on called SMS texting through Twilio, where we have... Uh, where people can text this number, which I you have a custom custom opportunity to to you know say whatever it's text this number at okay so uh, and set up with a phone number this is something you can do I think it costs less than three dollars a month it's ridiculously cheap so cheap you won't know you paid for it but um, people can text that number which I happens to be the address street address of this nice little cabin in the woods and then they'll get this information but they can also enter their information here. And they will get more open house details, but of course you'll get the lead. So this is just presenting that home in another way, so that people can, um, you know, so you can generate a lead off it basically. Open house sign in form. This is another one of the newer tools. Uh, uh, you know, they, people can fill in the form. You can use these to, you know, generate excitement and uh, buzz about it, an open house that's coming up. Okay, and uh, so that's a sign up form. That's a landing page. I guess they're the same thing. Now that I think about it, those are look like pretty much the same thing. But then you can share those, and I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to share a little here, um, and uh, so you have an open house notification. It's what you have, and so let me click on here. So I want to set open house date. So if, say for example, Susan wants an open house on this. You can put some details about you know, hey, you know, directions. If it's stuck in the woods, like this home is kind of in the woods. Save that note, but then you would format, say, like I said, okay, it's going to happen the 29th, September, uh, the 29th, it's going to happen from 9 to, you know, 9 to 11. And not all day. It would be a long day for Susan. And if I add that, and I'm not going to do that because it's going to then publish that notice next to the listing, and then people are going to show up. And if she doesn't want to be out there on an open house, that's a challenge. But, but it's easy to do. It's going to show up. Uh, it's going to show up 
next to the listing, connect to the listing announced. So when people see that listing or advertise it in Facebook and such, you know, people will see that and they'll be able to, you know, show up live body on a Saturday to check out that home. So, um, all right. You know, we've, we've been together for about 40 minutes now, and I probably totally bored you with all the many details. And I don't, it's not my intention. Uh, my intention is to is to get you to put more of these things to work so that you can uh, so that you can be more successful and generate more leads. Um, Robert's put the, the tools in place. I'm going to take a, a, a create a landing page and share it in, in social media. Um, I just want to show it's one of the newer tools, and I think it's great I would, since I have this new listing. She has another listing coming up today, and, and I'll be launching the same uh, protocols to do that. Okay, so this is just listed. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, we're not giving all the information about the listing because we want to gather a little more information, gather a lead. What I'm going to do is click this. I want to share this on uh, Facebook. Let's do that. I'm clicking the Facebook here. Now, in the background, I happen to have Facebook launched already, and no, I'm not the realtor. I'm just the marketer. So I want to find a, here's a share on a page I manage. So I will find Susan's page. So let's scroll down here. You see, I've been a busy gal, busy guy. Okay, so uh, that's going to go on her um, on her Facebook page and say, um, "Need a, a getaway." place just a minutes from State College you know the busy college town people need to get away I'm gonna put PA in there because there are other state colleges oh this big one I need a question mark there yep okay check out this Cozy cabin. Um, um, in the woods. Yeah, that's kind of in the woods. I could say more for, uh, for now. Uh, I guess I could put hashtags in there too and such. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and post that to Facebook. And it's just listed in Petersburg. Hopefully people know where Petersburg is. It's outside. Um, there, I got to Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and post that. And then I could um, I could go in there promote that within Facebook. You know I can I can boost it and because you know, it, it's actually going to show up as a as a post in her um, on her Facebook page business page. Okay, so I'm gonna let me pull up so you can see that. I'm gonna let it scroll. Facebook doesn't let you scroll fast. They want you to see everything that people are wanting to share with you. So you gotta let it set a little bit. Okay, so. Um, it's going to be there. Yep, there it is. Okay, so I didn't give all the information. Like, see here, this is a post I did using the Robert tool as a post from the website, and you can click in here and get more information about that listing because I was able to, like I say, create that post inside uh, using the Robert tool, the post tool. But this is a little different in Facebook. Um, this one is um, a, a form. Basic, and by the way, I can boost that. Um, uh, and, 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 you know, create an audience, zoomed in around State College, you know, don't quite have time enough to do that today, but but I could promote this pretty easy. Okay, so um, this this create, it goes to the, the the landing page, so where they have to enter, enter information. So basically, you're basically saying, yeah, I'll get you the information, but let me know who you are. You know, some agents say, hey, I, I want to give people the information they need. They'll call me when they're ready. That's fine. Different agents, different style. But Robert wants to give you the tools that let you put your listings in front of the most amount of people. That's what it's all about. You know, putting you in control of the listing. That, that's what it's really all about. So, uh, by the way, I share this listing um, on Pinterest. Inside the listing, when you go into listing marketing, you have the ability to be able to um, share a Pinterest version of this listing. Now, for Susan, she has different boards in her Pinterest. And I have one for active listings. These are active listings. So it, um, it's it's really easy to add that. Here's the listing. Um, go back to the listing here. 
Okay, so I went here. I'm in, I'm logged in the real bird. I'm logged in listing marketing, and I click Pinterest, and I got another tab open with her Pinterest account open, and I'm able to post that very quickly. Um, same thing with uh, with like Facebook or gosh, you can share that listing literally in any of these, and I do, and I do. Um, but you have the ability to share that Pinterest. She has an active rain account. If you don't know active rain, this is a great place that real estate agents, you know, share information with. It's kind of a public side and, and a um, agent to agent area. But she, she happens to have both areas and uh, we share her listings in there and people will, uh, people will comment on them. They'll like them, they'll share them. And because she has the paid version of active rain, the search engines will pick up this state college PA getaway home just minutes away. Uh, it'll pick that up. And this listing was all this listing here. This is all formatted by, uh, it was all formatted by real bird. Real bird gave me that. Remember we talked about the wardrobe here. See that see that, just minutes away. I click on that. Maybe they'll show the whole, there we go. Just about there. Okay, so you've got that listing, and then there's more detail and information uh, about this listing that, that they have the ability to learn about. I'm, I guess I'm not seeing the whole post because I'm logged in as her, but, but the idea is all these places are provided for you. Let me show you another one. This is great. You have the, if you're uh, using Craigslist and to promote your listings, you have the ability to be able to create a photo. Uh, so it basically, this tool takes the first photo in the gallery of the photos you've uploaded connected listing and it brands it with your logo, company logo, your picture and your contact information. And she happens to have the text add on. So that's why it has this as well. They can text for more information. And that's really, really easy to create. Uh, you know, real word, I mean, um, Craigslist changed their rules a few years ago to where you couldn't put links in the, in their ads. So, Robert came up with this ingenious idea to be able to brand an image that Robert, I mean, that uh, Craigslist doesn't have a problem with so that you can, that, so that you can create that. Go back and show you where we get that. So you have it right here. It says branded listing photos right here with the SMS call to action because she has the SMS. Otherwise it'd just be branded with your contact information. Um, so just, yeah, I, I'm not one to overwhelm you, but just show with, show you that, well, you got to have a protocol. Every t every time you take a listing, you have to have the protocol. You have to have it lined out. This is just a sample of what what I do um, for my clients for their listings. By the way, have your own protocol. Um, I'd be happy to share my notes um, that'll help you kind of start your protocol so that you can build that and want you to have that confidence. The confidence that you, by the way, that someone else can do this marketing, but besides you, and they have a plan to follow. So the hamburger is going to taste the same. Um, and, uh, and also that you can get away from this hand this off to someone like Eric or someone, Hey, and they can do this work for you and that you can go out and meet with people and you're not stuck. Now, if you, I, I, I can't tell you how many agents I run into the say, well, I really enjoy this marketing part. That's fine, but you're behind a computer and you can do it after hours. But I, I think what's really awesome about real is they've created a system that puts you in the driver's seat when it comes to your listings. And, and so that you can literally leverage, literally, I mean, I think of like the orange juice, orange juice, you know, you, you want to squeeze every last drop of orange juice out of that luscious, you know, um, uh, orange. And that's what, that's what Rupert really does. It lets it literally helps you and say, okay, I don't have listings. What do I do? Okay. So hopefully your agents around you in your office that you might work with, uh, you might see them as your competitors or you might see them as, hey, maybe they have some listings they'd be willing to let me brand using my real bird tools. And so that I can generate a lead for myself. You know, if they're a, a, a listing agent with a healthy attitude, that means they should appreciate someone bringing buyers to their listing, you know, bring a buyer, bring an offer. You know, they're always saying like, bring an offer to this house. You know, what do you got? Bring an, bring an offer. Okay. Well, with real bird, you can connect with someone. And once you get the ball rolling, um, you'll be getting listings. Uh, but if you don't have listings, you can leverage the real bird tools and borrowing listings. I don't call it co-listing and more co more co-marketing because obviously that listing in the MLS probably is not going to be, we're not saying it's branded. Uh, and that's another level. I mean, if you're partnering with them, they'll let you do that. That's fine. But definitely ask to co-market a listing and use 
these tools, everything I showed you today, but uh, by borrowing listings and of course with permission. And uh, and that's a great way because we have people, real birders all the time that are new and say, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I want to be a seller's agent, but I'm a buyer's agent right now. You know, how can I, how can I do that and, and do everything we're doing here? But you, you can have to borrow some listings to, um, to get the ball rolling. Okay. And by the way, you do not have to put an MLS number in there. By the way, you can create a listing a coming soon, even without a price. You can do that and generate a buzz. There's an agent um, that I worked with in the Bay Area. And his goal was to have every one of his listings he took sold before he put it in the MLS. Create a buzz about it. Hey, let me share this home that's coming on the market soon. Pretty soon the whole world's going to know about it. And particularly in Gabe's area in the Bay Area, that's huge if you can know about a listing that's coming on the market. Because a lot of times you can get it. Uh, uh, that you can get it. Um, before it comes to the market, you know, and it can just, it works. It works. By the way, he's always successful. You know, it's, it's the buzz that you create about that listing and about getting it sold. But the idea is when you create ad for sale listing in your real bird account, you have the opportunity. Don't have to put an MLS number. Don't have to put a price. Do coming soon. And that's a great, opp great opportunity to be able to do that, to create that buzz before you have to put it in the MLS. And I, I guess one of the biggest things that I think is a benefit is, um, that Robert's brings is it's you're not just relying on the MLS. Robert really empowers you with your listing that you had to have your own distribution, your own promotion, um, and not just relying on what happens in the MLS. I can't tell you how many times it's worked with agents and they cuss and swear about the MLS and all the restrictions, you know, 509 characters, including spaces. It's ridiculous, but uh, you're empowered with Robert. Okay. Well, so my input is, oh, as always, I tell everybody, that's one. And then, you know, think about it from a global perspective. There are thousands of agents in your area. There's thousands of websites. The world is awash in listings. How is somebody going to find you? And when they find you, how is they, what is going to make them give you their name and phone number, right? Those are the two essential uh, uh, events that have to happen in lead generation. You know, I, if I decide to buy or sell a house, I wake up in the morning, I said, hmm, let's buy or sell a house. What do I do? I sit down in front of my computer, I look at the screen, and I can go to so many places today uh, that have real estate information to educate myself. If I don't if, if, if I don't find something from you or about you, then how am I going to know that you exist? So with RealBird, you can seed the web every one of your of your sold listings, of your active listings, of your of your uh, uh, codes uh, that you generate, of the inventory, which is virtual tours. They all can be these electronic touch points that you disperse over the web through the various social media and Craigslist and uh, send it by mail, postcards, uh, um, things like that, and people will then over time know that 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 you exist and so why does it work so well well it works well if you add your extra content to it right to eat to everything why because because people want to work with a local agent so they want to understand quickly within their attention span of two or three uh, minutes who you are why they should work with you and not somebody else that they found and the trust relationship has to be established from zero to where they are comfortable giving you their name within this um, short attention span. Otherwise, if they go away, who knows if they come back. So with RealBird, you can you can create that because with the MLS, you can't because you can't add extra content there. You can't, you know, sure, you're going to sell the listing if it's on Zillow, but so what? And at the end, uh, you have you can start from scratch to, uh, to prospect for new buyers and sellers. So um, so that's where the advantage of something like RealBird is. You can customize things. You can disperse them online where people are going qualified potential buyers and sellers go. And, you know, like anything else in advertising, if you create a great listing and you put it in the wrong place, it's not going to work. So it's the same as with a flyer, right? But um, but if you do it right and you learn, and that's what the scope of these webinars is, then, then, then you're going to be successful. And that's why 
I see that we have lots of clients who have hundreds of list, hundreds of uh, leads, uh, some even thousands in a year, because they learned where to place these ads and how to distribute them, and they're smart about it and out of the box. Yeah, this that's this phrase that I've heard about in marketing for real estate agents. It had to be omnipresent. You know, basically, I am everywhere all the time, and uh, that, that kind of summarizes you know everything realtor can do for you and your business. Thanks, everybody, for uh, being with us today. Were there any questions that we didn't get answered, Gabe? Well, no, I will, there was just one note here from Bob. I think he uh, he had some technical issue with his um, with his uh, webinar gem, but uh, I'll uh, he I'll send him the recording, and then um, he can see if 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 that's the same there. I didn't quite understand what that was, but thank you, everybody. And um, hope you have a good uh, weekend and see you in two weeks. Awesome. Think about that. How can I be everywhere all the time? Wilbur can help you do that, help make that happen. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.